Good morning. It's a beautiful day in San Antonio. My name is Arena. Welcome to the new people that are on my channel. Wow. Insane for me. Okay, so I have a comment. And it is by Jan K. And wants to see Epica Once Upon a Nightmare. And it's a video. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's check this. It'll be good. All right. Give it the credit to the people. I do love the sound of violin. I'm pretty sure that's what the instrument is. But you never know. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of different kinds of instruments. Are those lighters? I can't tell if those are cell phones or lighters because that seems like who gives a shit really. But I just remember, I mean, I'm 42 years old. So when I was young, we would use, even when I was a kid to go to concerts, I was probably 10 or 11 and my grandmother and mom was like, here, here's a lighter and do this. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> burn this shit out of my finger. And you know, cell phones, I think. Yeah. Okay, I see. On the way to sacred shores And in the arms of the life that we adore Moonlight shows a white design that's been Stunning. Uh, Simone's voice is always pretty much perfect. <laughs> um, I do like what is going on with the video.
she was just saying with the last line. Okay, um, so what I saw or heard in the beginning, um, I have a hard time with with operatic when it gets really soprano. I think I need a hearing aid or something. <laughs> I'm gonna have a very hard time hearing from certain things. Um, change of course, leaving your shelter. That's what I've gotten so far. Okay, I am going to leave for a moment and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm looking, I looked at the lyrics and then I saw... It sounded like it's a backstory, and that's what's so hard is that I'm not familiar with with the storyline, so it's hard for me to understand. I did see a comment, and this is Marlon BSB, and 
um, Marlon, they were, their interpretation is inspired by a dark German tale of the Alder King of Ulrican. Oh, sorry. Ulrican, who steals children's souls. A lot of times, parents don't take to children seriously, especially when it comes to seeing Monster in the Closet. So it's a dark twist on a fairy tale. It's symbolic of being stuck in a life without happy ending and how your innocence is taken away from soon as we're born. Okay, so that doesn't mean that that's gospel. I'll put the link in, in the description. Um... Yeah, because to be honest, I had no flipping idea. Like, the the reactions that I get are, like, poetic, really deep meanings. And I really was not the best at, you know, English class and shit like that. So, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult. Um, so, I have a question is if... I guess it's lead, the interpretation is to you, but when there's a backstory, it makes it kind of difficult. I do. Okay, one second. I did enjoy the song as far as uh, very melodic. The singing was top notch. Um, I wasn't... I heard the instrument, but I was focusing so hard on the lyrics, and basically I thought he died or something, so I wasn't sure what was going on. But, okay, that's about the best I can do with that one, but I did enjoy it. Um, have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Epica is awesome. Bye.